All right, I'm Eric, I'm 46 years old. I've been doing this uh, My Transformation Starts Today Challenge since January. It's been <laughs> tremendous for me. Um, my whole life, I never felt like I fit in, you know? Low self-esteem, low confidence, you know? Uh, long story short, led into um, alcoholism for me. Um, the only way I was able to get past the alcoholism is when I realized that I had to humble myself. I had to reach out to other people. I had to be willing to accept the help that they were willing to offer to me. I had to try new things. That was scary because I was always afraid to try new things because I never felt worthy. I never felt good enough. And when I try new things, I might fail. And if I fail, you're going to know that I'm not fucking good enough. So it was tough, but I did it. And on May 27th, 1996, I had my last drink. Um, you would think that's where the story changes, right? That's, that's when life got better for Eric, when that drunk decided to quit drinking. But you know what? That's when my life got worse. My life got fucked up. And it's, it, it makes sense when you think about it, because what was really going on, all those years, I was numbing out all them feelings that I didn't want to feel, you know? And if one of those feelings crept through, if I felt something, I didn't care. The alcohol made me indifferent, you know? So it was all good. And of course, in my warped thinking, I'm not hurting anybody but myself, you know? So I accepted the help, right? I reached out. Not only accepted it, I had to reach out first. Um... And I did. I did get help, and I did quit drinking. And um, but like I said, life got worse it, it, because now all those feelings that never went anywhere. The only thing that was between them feelings, you know, and and and, and me was the alcohol. And now I don't have the alcohol. I'm drowning in this shit, you know. Um, I had been. Uh, diagnosed when I was young with, with depression and anxiety. It always kind of manifested itself in anger for me. And so at this point, you know, now all those feelings are, 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 are coming over me. I don't know how to deal with any of them. I never had to learn. I never had to learn how to deal with the feelings because I never let myself feel them in the first place. So my depression got insane, you know. Um, I started thinking about death and the relief that that would bring. And that scared the hell out of me. So I opened up to somebody I trusted. And through that, you know, started to get some additional help. Because I had, I had realized at that point that changing a behavior, as important as it may be to change that behavior, changing a behavior doesn't change a fucking person. You know? I'm not, I, I'm not simply a sum of my behaviors, right? My behaviors... Are, are a result of, of, of my beliefs and my thoughts and my feelings. If I hadn't changed any of those, if I still had the fucked up thinking and I still had those feelings that I never did anything with, changing that one behavior doesn't change any of that. So I had to learn how to change those things. So I started to learn with the help of others. And I got better. Fast forward a little bit, I get married to a beautiful, supportive, wonderful woman. Uh, a couple years later, we have twins, Jacob and Cassandra, and I'm happy as shit, you know? I got a family. At that point, I, now I had a career. I, I started working as an addictions counselor. I've been a counselor now for 20 years, um, you know, working to help people that had some of the same kind of problems that I did, you know, so I'm, not, I, I'm feeling pretty good, you know, I'm like, wow, man, I, I, I've, I've done some things, I've accomplished some shit, I got through some hard times, you know, I, I, I've set goals, I've accomplished goals, I have a career, I have beautiful kids, I, problem is that, that that comfort that I was experiencing, um, I allowed myself to, 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 um, you know, I let that morph into complacency, you know. I started to take shit for granted. And I started to get fat. I didn't give a shit what I ate, you know. Um, never paid any attention to it. So I started to get bigger. It wasn't doing anything, you know, active. Never really have. 
Um, but I started getting to the point where I was uncomfortable physically, emotionally, you know, based on my physical self. Uh, but I started, you know, I'd make excuses, not to other people, because other people, you know, didn't see it the way I saw it. I was making excuses to myself, telling myself, to, ah, look, you're, you're middle aged, you got a family, and that's, that's what happened, that's what's supposed to happen. You know, you could dad bod, man. It's all good. You know? Oh, and then I even go so far as to say, look, hey, according to the internet, you know, a lot of women are turned on by dad bod. Holy shit, dude. I didn't believe any of it. But I kept telling myself this shit. And then I'd pull open the shower curtain and look in the mirror, and there it is. I'm disgusted. So. Apparently not disgusted enough to make any, any kind of significant change, you know? Uh, my youngest son, Cole, was born two and a half years ago. I thought, shit, I'm going to be the old dad. You know, that kid in school had those, those old parents, you know, the ones that looked like grandparents. I said, I, I don't want to be that guy. And I realized, well, I'm going to be the old dad. That's, that's kind of a dumb deal at this point, but I don't have to be the fat old dad. So I started to try to change, but I did shit all the wrong way, man. It was all, all I did, didn't change my activity level, didn't pay any attention to nutrition per se, simply calorie deficit. That was it. And I saw some results. So I thought, okay, this is it. It wasn't sustainable though, because I was freaking miserable. I'm depriving myself, you know, and so now what happens, I shoot myself in the foot. So not only am I, am I, am I not happy with myself physically, but now I'm falling back into some of those emotional and mental, you know, insecurities. And, and so um, I yo-yoed like that back and forth for a while. And then in uh, the uh, um, summer 2017, mom died. And that was a game changer. Um experienced so many emotions so many new versions of old emotions you know a bunch of shit that I I, I couldn't I couldn't fucking wrap my head around it and I didn't want to feel that way so once again I chose to go outside of myself if I don't at this point in time have the abilities to cope with this I can find it you know this time I turned to, you know, as of reading, you know, looking at things on the internet, and I came across the MF CEO project. Holy shit. Excited. Every fucking day excited, man. Listening to this and getting all pumped up and enthusiastic and, and you know, realizing that, 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 you know, I have control. You know, I have control. And I have the ability to be whatever I want to be, man. Whatever I want to be. So... I, you know, I started implementing some of these strategies that Andy was talking about. I'm like, holy shit, this works, you know? And I'm feeling better and better about myself. My confidence is, is, is rising. My self-esteem is, is improving. And then I hear about the My Transformation Starts Today Challenge, and I say, I'm going to fucking do that. That's what I need to do. And I started. On my own, you know, I um, haven't been to a gym in 10 years. I work out at home, so I had to get creative, modify some things. But I, I, I was working on it. I made some connections with some of the uh, First Form folks through the uh, Facebook page, uh, through Instagram. And, you know, right away, you know, people were enthusiastic to help me. You know, these people don't know me. And they're not just saying, do this, this, and this, like you can read in the fucking magazine, right? They're telling me, they, they ask me questions. What are you doing now? You know, what are your goals? What, you know, and they were t giving me advice based on me. And I started trusting the process because that's what I learned works for me, you know? And it's still, I have to relearn it every time, you know? It ain't always easy when it's something new, when it's a new process, I started to get some results. Chris Rowan reached out to me. He asked me if I would be interested in being a part of his team. You know what? This is the fucking kid that never got picked for a team. And I was getting picked. And I joined. And um, from there, it's indescribable, man. The people... Um, 
the support, the unconditional love. I, I know I, I, I hesitated to use that word, that, that long pause. It sounds fucking corny. It is what it is, man. And and sometimes I, I get, I'm so excited and passionate about this, and I want to tell people because I want people to feel it. I want to share it. I'm, I'm, it feels so goddamn good. I want everybody to feel it. The only people that get it are the people that are already in it, you know. But the nice thing about that is that I don't have to explain myself because you get it. And it comes down to that one. That one first form term, man, that, that, that family, the PH family, it says it all. And I've experienced that. And I'm living that. And it's so much, the products are fucking awesome. Haven't had them all, haven't used them all. Handful of them I use religiously, and they're awesome. It's such a small piece. The people the family for the guy that never fit in what a beautiful place to fit in I'm so grateful so grateful for everything that I've, I've, I've already received so grateful for the opportunity for the continuing opportunities. I'm so grateful for what hasn't even happened yet because everybody is there. Everybody is there for me. And um, I love it. Thank you. See you next time.